All right, that's uh, that's Nushka featuring Daddy Owen, Piga Magoti, Kwa Magoti is the name of the song. So let's hear from you, your thoughts on the song. It was released yesterday, and is uh, Daddy Owen still doing his thing, Ama Kunavile? I feel like he's really done his thing in this one. I really like it. I think it's it's those songs that, you know, you can actually listen to in church you know kuna, there's some songs in gospel where you're like that one is just for the tv that one is just for social media but this one this is a good song it's this is a, a good, good song <laughs> 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 i think it's a nice song and a uh, very nice beat like we were saying uh i think that you when meets a very good collab i made yeah. no with her she's not pushing it from you know, is is a guy who does the Lingala thing, and mm. and look at where she's coming from, uh, GRC and all that, and I think he meets a very good collaborator who does this without making an effort, mm. uh, and I think it's a good video for me. Uh, they blend well, and I think that is a winning thing. In yeah. the, in Actually, the my next song. question was whether uh, Nushka is swallowed by Daddy Owen yeah. in terms of the song. Uh, you know, whether d d do you feel her? Yes. It's it's it, and you can feel the way he hands over the the button to her even when he does his little thing and we know that Erwin is a very powerful artist mm -hmm. but also as as a new uh, gospel artist as we know her our, our vocal range and all that works well with what that Owen is doing and you can see he's not outdoing himself to try to bury her in himself mm. and i think that works very well all right okay. no interesting because uh, i think a couple of weeks ago we were criticizing that Owen's tazama video and uh, mm. remember the video where there was um, a shetani who was in oh, yeah. blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, so for me, coming from that to this mm. is definitely good for Daddy Owen, and I think he has redeemed himself. Do they have chemistry? Yes, they do. They, do have, they, chemistry. they have chemistry. Yeah. Uh, the quality of the video is amazing. The vocals are on point. I think it's a good. It's job. a spin for it's, you, yeah, solo. It's nice. it's uh, nice. Definitely a spin for me, and uh, um, almost uh, obvious because after over. A decade in the industry, I don't expect that you went to come anything short than that. Um, and uh, that you has been known to really compliment even new artists, yeah. and that is exactly what he's done, even in this one. He, he has a way of making a very new artist sound very comfortable mm -hmm. on, on, on a track. That's right. Like, he, he'll not look like he's overshining, they look like they actually did. You remember, even when that's a very mature quality. Yes, you know, you the remember, even when they do a collab and not want to overshadow exactly. Yeah. Even when uh, he was bringing like uh, the likes of Deno back in the day, you know, you'd uh, you can tell he has a very uh, um, uh, subtle way of of uh of bringing up an, a new artist and complimenting them in this yeah. one. So this one is definitely a spin for me. All right, so yeah. I guess all of you are saying you like the it's song, you like the video, song. Akuna yeah. criticism, and it's mm. a perfect video. That's a change. Maybe <laughs> so because we don't have Smita on set. Oh, maybe because Smita. Maybe because Smita is <laughs> no, not Smita here. But there you go. Smita Nushka, congratulations, it. and uh, Daddy Owen as well for a great song right there. Now, moving on. Tragedies this past week have been sad. It's been a sad one on our nation as we lost four prominent Kenyans first. The interior CS Joseph Olen Kayseri, who suffered a heart attack and passed away suddenly on Saturday, following um, from by Moy's era most powerful politician Nicholas Biwot, also known as the Total Man. We also recently let go of uh, the Karaoke's uh, Gigi Karaoke, the senator for Laikipia County, and early today Ambassador Bethwell Kiplagat, the former TJRC chairman. So a very sad week, um, and I, it's one after the other. Of course, the shocker. Uh, initially was um, Kayseri because well, that was totally unexpected. He was still acting, he was very active. But again, it seems like just before we can get our heads up, another one. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, Mike. I, even for the newsmaker, um, and we're newsmakers, yeah, when you just think about what carries the headline today, what carries the headline uh, tomorrow, because there's so much happening in this land. Uh, we have a lot of politics going on. We have a lot of uh, prominent people uh, uh, dying and uh, we have international sports happening here and so much happening so th th there's pretty a lot that there's is so happening, much happening. And, 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 and some of it seems to be getting buried beneath the rest of it mm. but talking about the deaths mike i don't remember the last time we had such a huge number of prominent people uh uh you know uh, Apart from, the, I think, the accident that took place, an air crash. You, you yeah. see, that, 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 that was, was an collective. air crash. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was collective, collective, but yeah. this is yeah. one. And, and we're just, we're just really joking. It, does it come a time when probably the maker just decides 
you people have lived in Narvan long in Narvan let's, let's have a party somewhere mm. else <laughs> you know it's, it's quite sad when you just think they left but sometimes you just think well let God have his way mm. and let times have their way All right. you know in, uh, Mike in my mother tongue they say how, how shall I cry when there are so many deaths you know, people dying one after one after another. So you don't, you, you sort of like get confused. But then again, I think, uh, like Steve has mentioned, looking at what is what is happening politically. I mean, we look at how the tempers are soaring. It is actually. I'm not saying we we are celebrating the passing of uh, of these national leaders, but. I actually appreciate the fact that we are able to put aside our differences and pull together and mourn these people. Mm. But then again, the other moral lesson we can get from this is these people led their lives. Some, I mean, uh, they serve their country, they, 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 they serve their families. So for me, it's actually, it is sad, but we need to celebrate them. We need to, to celebrate yeah, their lives. Yeah, we need to celebrate their lives. Mm. Yeah. I think it's a bit scary from where I stand. I feel like it's <laughs> happening so fast. And you see, like... In regards to Nkaiseri, people were saying he has been in the he's been in positions of power for a long time. You see, when these things happen, you're left wondering: is it something that is happening, or is it maybe you guys? Maybe it's the election. Maybe they have they want to invest in the election, and sometimes <laughs> they wake up. They're thinking, now what did Nasser say yesterday? And then maybe it's over. I don't know. I feel like maybe the elections is also affecting <laughs> the old leaders. Like, yeah, like it's it, it's about something to do with this. And yes, I want, because well, it's so many people at mm. the same time. It's a yeah, bit I, I'm sure those who probably believe in. Uh, Another world mm -hmm. might be saying, mm -hmm. What should I say? But we've had, 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 had And I'm surprised even Stevens didn't uh, you know, pass through their calls. <laughs> when, when the children of Israel were going to the promised land, what was happening? You know, there's a stage where God decided Moses You know, politically speaking, that. that could be misinterpreted, especially because we already have a Joshua. So, to, <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're referring to the Bible. Yeah. Not I am extremely <laughs> suspicious of Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so look, um, certainly, um, a dark July, um, and we're only halfway um, uh, through, and we're not even uh, in, into August, and you know, yeah, August has had a history in, in yeah. the past, uh, but uh, certainly a lot of uh, um, uh, pa past and uh, present political firebrands um, uh, exiting and uh, making headlines of their demise. Um, definitely, I, I, it's a sad state, but I think also it's a message that there's a generation that is being swept off and there's a new era that is coming up because all these leaders have served in their, in their own capacities mm -hmm. but uh, we, we've always talked about future leaders and I think we are seeing a lot of this coming in with uh, a lot of other old, uh, the older generation yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah in fact I remember seeing uh, a, a, a newspaper cutting I remember seeing a um, mm -hmm. picture mm -hmm. where there was all these leaders who were lined up and it was written at the bottom oh. last man standing mm -hmm. and uh, there was be what yeah. There was uh, Saitoti, yeah. there was Kamodo, yeah. a number of them. And the last man standing, according to that, is actually Moi. Moi. Yeah. And uh, Moi being <laughs> one of the oldest. He's really buried a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, well, yes. And he, remember, he's the one who was famous mm -hmm. for coining the saying, the youth are the leaders of, of tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so tomorrow seems to have come. Yeah. Uh, but of course, a very, very sad time in our prayers and our thoughts yeah. are with the, the families, families. Uh, because this is a very difficult time. I know, Queen, you lost your dad not too long ago. And yeah. of course, it's a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. It's a time, and you know, for, for leaders, this is what we forget, that there are families behind yes, these leaders yes, yes. that need to mourn, that need to go through uh, the process of, uh, uh, of mourning, yet there's so much information. Like Nkaiseri, I mean, the time he passed away, his wife was in hospital, mm -hmm. There's so much happening and there's so much speculation mm -hmm. and we forget that there is a family that needs to mourn. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, our thoughts with the family. But now, moving on, and um, Gormahia played Everton yesterday after Wayne Rooney marked his Everton return with a stunning goal as Everton striker Wayne Rooney celebrates his belt against Gormahia. Everton picked up a hard and 2-1 win over Kenya side Gormahia. First of all, to hear from you guys, was that expected? Were you expecting 2-1? Or are you expecting like six, seven, ten, <laughs> zero? Actually, I think it's the other day that I, I was uh, sharing this with a colleague of mine. I was, I was, I was, I was. It's called Paul. I was telling him, you know, 
um, at what point, I mean, what, what, what's the worst that can happen? Because I was so scared that these guys were going to turn this thing into netball. <laughs> no, I, I, I was worried about. But then you told me, as a, as as a general rule in football, I was being educated that it gets to a point where now, after you have scored a certain number of goals, now you just enjoy the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't have to embarrass the other team. I don't know what. <laughs> uh, I I didn't expect basketball <laughs> yesterday. I, I know when international teams would be here, on, and Everton is a big team of mm-hmm. that matter. When you just look at the EPL. I, I don't think they were coming to East Africa or to Africa to embarrass Dormayo. <laughs> and and they, they played a good game. Mm. And of course you wouldn't see the levels of play that you'd see when you get to think of uh, Europe games and all that. So, so Queen, I swallowed the pride that that was just 2-1. <laughs> it was just a beautiful game, friendly moment and all that. And above all, it was a Rooney moment in East Africa yeah. when, when he just left our Manchester United and all that. All right. I, I think it was it's a, just, and, and it looks today time. you guys will just have to bear with us because there's breaking news all over. This being KTN News, well, we're in the business of breaking news mm. and ensuring that we keep people posted on what's happening. Now, Mombasa gubernatorial candidate Awiti Bolo's billboard has been pulled down by unknown people in Baxton area of Mvita constituency. Awiti is on record clashing with Mombasa County government over what he says is lack of space to advertise. Let's now cross over to our coastal reporters, Francis Mtalaki, who is ready with the Nyali MP. Francis, over to you. Tell us what's going on. County of Mombasa. Now, Mimi si Mwoga, na Musu Asintishe, Niko Mombasa hapa, hata billboard, tafanya kampini yangu. Nikiweka, nikiweka posta usiku inatolewa yote yote unaweka leo inangolewa wanataka kuniweka kunitia asara kubwa lakini mwenyezi Mungu anaona wananchi wanaona na kila kitu watu wanaona sasa mimi sina mengi nimeripiga report kwa polisi nikampigia choki simu nikampigia maalim wameniambia niwe na nitulie watafanya investigations kawaida yao wanasema watafanya investigation hii nyali bridge hii hii nilikuwa ninauliwa 2013 ambapo niliambiwa uchunguzi utafanywa na mpaka sasa hii ni miaka nne bado wanafanya uchunguzi sasa hii pia Changoja nione na kama itafanyika mimi ni mkenya kama wale wengine nataka ulinzi ya kikamilifu ni hayo tu ninayo naomba wananchi watulie usiwe na wasiwasi billboard haipigi kura kura inapigwa na wanai wananchi bila billboard abiti jobo jobo anajulikana tufanye campaign na amani na msiwe na wasiwasi may god bless you thank you labda kando na hilo tumepapukea taarifa za kifo chake bebethul kipul katambaye alikuwa ni mmoja wa wanatume ambao waliongeza ile tume ya TRC labda wewe unamuona gani kuhusiana na kiongozi aliyetuacha mimi nimesitika sana hii mwezi ambayo imepita viongozi wale muhimu sana sijui ni kitu gani endelea mimi yangu ni kupiga pole kwa familia umebaki na naomba wao wawe na utulifu kila mtu duniani we are here temporary it's very sad for the one month to lose so many people but there's nothing we can do nikupiga pole tu na familia na jua wanapitia wakati ngumu mungu atawasaidia may god bless the family and also all kenya because we are losing a very important people only one month you know to lose about four people very important it's a shocking nations we need especially prayer ni maombi tuombe nchi yetu tuwe na amani hata election tuombe sana tuwe na amani i'm been allowed by the ibc and even i contacted the the, the supplier of billboards they already allow me six 
I think I'm making process to pay it and you'll see my billboard. But I don't know whether they are going to remove it at night. That's my worry. But I've already got a site apart from this. But this one I've already invested on it. Yes. And I have one because, you know, there was no alternative. I have one in my compound in Yali, Mamba Village. Then another one also in my office. My... All right, so that's what's happening in Mombasa. And uh, guys, it looks like we are almost out of time. So I think we'll just do the reviews of the papers. And uh, we've not even talked about Sarah. Sarah was the lady yesterday who got a surprise birthday gift. I mean, if you're doing birthdays, the bar has been set pretty high. <laughs> she's, she's been the talk of town. And, uh, you know, um, when you see a cake being ferried by uh, a double up. cabin My uh, at the back there, and was, that, was and it a real cake? Was, was there at some point where it was cut and yes, people, it was yeah. cut and, uh, and, and she shared with people mm -hmm. with the public and uh, Nairobi. 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 Uh, possibly highlight of what's on the path. I think what is most even interesting today is, you know, do um, people know their celebrity names? You know, yeah, um, celebrity celebrities names. always come up with, uh, you know, <laughs> very, um, squashing names, you could say the band or what. Yeah. But now, today, we have unveiled Seriously. Some yeah, of uh, your favorite artists' real names yeah. and uh, grab a coffee. Mm -hmm. It might just be. One of those uh, funny ones to see what the real name. Yeah, Mike, in the midst the of the name. In the midst of very many, or a lot of bad news or negative news, pals, as we do, we just choose to just moderate the the atmosphere, and that's what, again, in a very deliberate way, we would just say, let's have a little fun. Mm. And from page one to twenty-four, where we are now, mm -hmm. it's a lot of good stories and entertainment. There's a lot. There's a lot. I think that there's about. quite a lot. Nairobian. I love the Nairobian oh, because oh, of this yeah. page. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I don't oh, know if you can see Saumu Mbumbi. Yeah, why did you guys put Saumu facing that side? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the future is bright, both sides. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying anyway, tomorrow, yeah, go on. Queen. No, I'm saying apart from well, the Bachelorette, the Saumus, and the rest. Uh -huh. um, I think uh, the paper is also quite interesting, well packed. We have covered. Um, the, the death, death of, of the former CS. Yeah, the former CS. Yeah. Um, um, total also man, total man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have very interesting... And even Gigi Karioki. Gigi Karioki. And uh, mm. Guji Wabugo saying that he was not his father, despite them having very, very striking features. Very you know. interesting. <laughs> yes, there, there, there was that going around that they look alike. Well, we'll yeah. have to wind it up right there. Thank, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And, uh, well, we are going to sign off with the band. Tafsiri, the band, have been with us since very, very early oh, this morning. Oh. And uh, they're going to leave us with a song that, well also is in